you know, you go and warm up some shit on the stove again, if you want to, and you're gonna get burned with it. No, baby, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, good. Okay, folks, so we ended off this episode with just a Sam beat down. And it's going to be funny to see him go into the White House the next day for work, considering the fact that, you know, Sam was smirking when Bobby limped into the White House in this week's episode after, you know, the three warning shots with the rubber bullets. But now Sam is probably going to be in a worse shape than Bobby. But I'm just sitting here thinking, why are you two st still staying married? It's the same question that everybody's been asking about Will and Jada ever since she just went viral. What was it? A week? Dang, that just shows you how quickly the world moves on from one story to the next, because I can't remember if it was like a week ago or two weeks ago when the whole Jada thing went big after she talked about her book and the fact that her and Will have been separated for six years or something now. But in any case, the same can be applied to Priscilla and Sam. It's like, look, if you're going to get a divorce, just get a divorce. And Priscilla, even though she is in the right now, in terms of when I look at her character compared to Sam's, because all of a sudden Sam is like, hey, ain't nobody touching what's mine. And you know what? You're going to, you know, forgive me. And I messed up, but you're, I'm not going anywhere. It's just one of those things where it's like, bro, like, where is this coming from? It literally came the hell out of nowhere. But in any case, Priscilla's talking about how, oh, I'm going to get with whoever I want to. But it's like, Priscilla, stop lying. The fact that you and Bobby didn't do anything because of the fact that you felt guilty and whatnot, it just makes her look even worse because for the past three seasons, it's just been, Sam, you're a piece of shit. You're messing around with these whores and whatnot. And I want to get me a man. And then when you finally get one, you don't do anything so now we know that she's just full of hot air and i will admit she does utilize resources because what she can't do she'll get other people to do it's like she can't physically beat sam so she'll get somebody else to do it and in this case it's half a dozen dudes that restrain him and beat the hell out of him so she's like what was it because sam was like yeah i'll shoot any guy you get with well yeah i had a man and you messed it up for me and it's like, no, he didn't because you didn't do a damn thing. You were literally leaving because you couldn't even, you know, do anything to Bobby. So it's just one of those things where can these two just please end it? Like, what are you holding on to? Sam undermining his mistake, as he calls it, is one thing. But there's never the acknowledgement of Priscilla neglecting his needs. And then Priscilla, you know, it's just talking all big but you know that's pretty much all she is all talk and i'm sick of it i feel like a lot of fans feel the same way but um like i mentioned in one of the other videos probably my episode review i do find it funny how the ending of the oval was a bunch of guys jumping sam and then the opening of sisters was a bunch of guys going upstairs to beat the hell out of uh, heather's boyfriend and her crew so it's just one of those things where at some point, these two either need to make up and agree they'll still stay married, divorce, or they're just going to keep playing this sick game until one or both of them gets killed. Or in another scenario, it could involve other people being killed, like the men that Sam decides to, or excuse me, the men that Priscilla decides to try to hook up with, or, you know, I don't know. It's just, it, it's, it's stupid. It really is. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Sam, just go to a hotel because you're going to be left on the floor just beating the hell up, bloody, black eye, and Priscilla's just going to stand over you and talk shit and then go to bed. That's pretty much what it's going to boil down to. But the only thing I'm looking forward to from this is Sam limping into work the next day and then Bobby, you know, clowning on him. Yeah, that's what your ass gets. So... With that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.